In this video, we're going to be taking a look at converting this uh, clip art image into a vector image for the purpose of a heat press vinyl application design. At the completion of this video, we're going to post the project file uh, of our finished uh, artwork that you can use, as well as the original bitmap that we're using, so you can follow along if you want to try this project out yourself. We picked this project specifically for a purpose because A, we need a cool football, but also uh, the techniques that we're going to use throughout the video are some good basic techniques that really anyone at any Corel Draw skill level um, should have great success in creating this project. And once you understand our design process, uh, you'll be able to take similar type of artwork and be able to easily recreate it using the few tools that we're going to be using here in EasyStone, as well as the tools that we're going to be using here in CorelDRAW. So when I begin a project like this, what I would probably do is set the overall width of the design to be what I, in my mind, I'm thinking is going to be the finished size. We don't necessarily have to do that because this is a vector object, so we can scale it afterwards anyhow. Uh, but just as general practice, that's just generally what I would do. So we have our design here. So I would come to our specialty tab and choose the set size option. And we're going to click on the, the, the left edge, click on the right edge, and then give this a design size, a specific width. And let's say we're going to do this. I think we're going to do the football at seven inches. Again, we can always scale it later, but now this football um, is seven inches wide overall. Then what we'll do is we'll select our football, we'll go ahead and choose lock image, and that's going to lock our image and we can't accidentally move it. It's also going to make it a little bit transparent. So now we can go ahead and begin the design process. So what I would do is start with our three-point curve tool right here, and this is our custom toolbar. So if you've not seen these icons like you see them here, it's because you don't have our custom toolbar installed. It's a free download. If you go into the freebie section on our uh, store, on our website, you'll be able to download this toolbar for CorelDRAW X5 and CorelDRAW X6. So three-point curve tool, we'll start at the point of our football, come straight down to the other point of our football, and then we can bend this curve however we want. So we're going to focus on one end or the other. So like I just kind of looking at this top edge, see how that curve follows that football along at the top edge there. We lose it down here, but that's okay. We're not going to concern ourselves too much about that right now. So now what we, we have the bottom half basically in place. Now we're going to do the top half. Now at the top, what we're going to do is make sure uh, that when we, when we hover, because we have this line selected, if we hover over the top of it, see that little arrow that points down? That means it's going to connect. Okay, it's really not that critical that it connects right now, but for a future uh, step, it is critical to have one continuous outline. And we're going to show you that a little bit later. So when you're making that second, connect, uh, second line, make sure it connects to the first. If we click off over here and then hover over the end, you can see we don't get the downward arrow. And that's because we didn't have that line selected to begin with. It's really not that critical if we don't connect the lines um, because we could always connect them together later, but it's an extra step, right? So why have the extra step? So let's go ahead and again, three point curve tool, hover over, go from end to end, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Just kind of focus on one end of the football or the other, get that curve following the football as close as we can like such. Okay, so again, we lose it, right? So now let's fix that. So we're going to go to our shape tool here in CorelDRAW, click on this end node, and that gives us the control handles. And we should be able to control this pretty good by clicking on an arrowhead and just kind of moving things into place. Again, we're only using this as a guide. So if it's not totally perfect, um, it's okay, right? Because we're just using it as a, just a general guide. So that uh, takes care of that pretty good. So now what we need to do is create the spine of the football. So same thing again, we're going to just uh, click our three-point curve tool, click off because we don't want it connected to our outline. 
And we're going to go from node to node, just like so. Okay, now we need to give that some type of thickness. So right now, uh, we don't know what the thickness is, so let's go in and open up our open uh, pen dialog box. It's currently six pixels, and I'm guessing that that line thickness needs to be probably about 30 pixels. Probably a little bit more than that. Let's make it, let's try 40 pixels once. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I'll live with that. Okay, so that is 40 pixels uh, thick. Now, when we switch over here to wireframe mode, I do want you to see this. See that spine, that center spine there? There is no thickness to that. Okay, um, and that's because it's a line with an outline property. So there is a function here in CorelDRAW, which is right here. It's our convert outline to object. So it's going to take our outline property and make it into an actual shape. And as soon as we do that, now you can see we actually have that thickness of our line, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's go back to enhance mode here. Now we're going to create these little laces, much the same way we did the spine. So three-point curve tool, drag, make a little curve shape like so. Come into our outline pen dialog box, give it some type of thickness. Now the spine was 30. These are thicker than the spine. Excuse me, the spine was 40. These are thicker than the spine, so let's set these to 60 and see what we get. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And yep, that's about the thickness that we want. And just like before, we have our line but no thickness. So let's convert to object, and now we have our line and our thickness. And now we can just take this, and we're just going to make some duplicates. So I'm just dragging with my left mouse button, and then right-clicking to make a duplicate. Drag, right-click to make a duplicate, drag, right-click to make a duplicate. Okay. Go back to enhanced mode here. So now we have all of our spine uh, in place. And if we wanted to, you know, rotate these just to, just a pinch, um, you know, you could if you wanted to. I don't know that it's really that necessary. All right. So now our laces are uh, in place there. So now really we just have these extra uh, stripes of our football here to contend with. So back to our three-point curve tool. And we're just going to go from edge to edge which I did not get, so I'm going to hit the escape key. We'll do it again. It is important that we go from edge to edge like so. Okay, uh, make sure that your snap to objects option is turned on here in your toolbar. You could also go to the view menu, snap to, make sure objects and guidelines is always on. We'll go ahead and we're back into our three point curve tool. We'll go from edge to edge like so. So we'll just follow along that existing uh, geometry there. Edge to edge like so and edge to edge like so. Okay, so that takes care of drawing out our football. We're going to actually select that and I just would make a duplicate of it. So you can see how great this already looks. Now what we're going to do is finish this up using this incredible tool here in CorelDRAW which is our Smart Fill tool. And watch how this works. We're just going to click in the areas where we want color. So we want color here, 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 and here. Perfect. Now we're going to select one of those shapes and come over here to our selection tool and click on create selection. And what that does is it will select all like color shapes. There we go. So I just made a duplicate of our football down here. Now this has an outline property assigned to it, so we're going to select the whole thing and right click to give it no outline. And that is our finished football. So you can see it looks really good. If we go to wireframe mode, you see the paths here. These are the paths that our cutter is going to cut. So um, you can see it will be a real nice clean cut, easy to weed. Um, should be a great look and design for uh, you know, adding a combination of rhinestone text. Maybe we'll do a, the football and a glitter. Um, but it would also be a great design uh, to do uh, even with just regular text uh, if you're doing it for um, men and so forth. All right, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to take this outline of the football that we still have 
and we're going to take this football. We're, uh, let's go ahead and combine that together as one shape. And then we're going to take our outline and hit C and E. And you can see kind of what that does is it kind of matches those back up because we do want to add one other element as an option. And I'm going to show you how it, how it actually looks here momentarily. But we're going to grab our outline, our pink outline here. We're going to give it a contour. Just click and drag. See that blue line? That's the offset. That's the amount of offset. And we're just going to give it a little bit of offset, something like that. And then what we're going to do is switch to our pick tool, hover over that offset line, and right click and break apart, break contour group apart. Okay, that takes care of that. Now this pink line, we don't actually need that. Let's just kind of toss that over to the side. So this is going to be our finished design right here. Okay, and let's go ahead and add a weed box around it. So just right click on add weed box. It'll throw a quick weed box around it. And then we're going to take this outline. We're going to fill it with white. And then we're going to take our football, which we can't actually see, but is still there. Shift page up. We'll move it right to the top, which we did. And let's go ahead and give it a, uh, a glitter fill. Go over to the specialty tab and hit glitter fill. And let's pick, I don't know, let's do silver glitter. Pretty nifty stuff, huh? So now we have a nice a glitter football with our white background. Now, when you go to produce glitter designs, you have to kind of keep in mind that we cannot lay glitter on top of glitter. But uh, you can lay glitter on top of regular uh, heat press vinyl material. So keep that in mind when you're doing, uh, doing your designs. Uh, regular heat press vinyl, glitter on top, perfect, but not glitter on top of glitter. There are different techniques, however, where uh, we could give the, the illusion of glitter on top of glitter. So in other words, uh, if we wanted to take what is white and, you know, have it look like it's a two-color glitter design, there are different techniques that will enable you to do that. Um, but that's not the effect that we're going for here. So we'll just do the, uh, the glitter uh, on top of white. Okay, so that concludes this particular project. Again, I'm going to save this project file for you. So you'll have the finished project file and all the various steps along the way and the original bitmap as well. And so you can try this project out for yourself. It'll be a great uh, skill building project for you to try and replicate uh, the final result. And then also uh, in the description of the video below, We'll have a link to the other part of the video where we show you how to add some rhinestone text along the curvature of our football um, if you want to know how to do that. So look for that link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.